Give us a quick rundown, Rebecca, on how you've tailored your campaign to voters in this area. The Green Party is known for really caring about and building policies on uh, stopping climate change and building a, a sustainable future um, in terms of the environment and energy. But the way that I bring that here into Hampstead and Kilburn is showing that if we were dealing with the issues of the environment on a local basis, we would be having far safer, cleaner streets, less traffic and slower traffic, which is much safer for our children and for, for pe people crossing the roads and using our roads, that affordable housing, genuinely affordable housing, in which you also have insulation, for example, helps with fuel poverty, helps to keep the fuel bills down by having more local generation of, e of energy, which brings jobs in, local shops, local greengrocers, supporting the community, that this helps to keep jobs in the areas paying a living wage, make sure that the people working in the jobs can can also then buy products, live in homes. All of this is about circulating the resources we have sustainably around the community. Some voters might say, well, the Green Party live in this idealistic world and that actually most of the changes that, that you're proposing just aren't practical. They aren't for the real world. They aren't, they aren't for real people. How do you respond to that? To be honest, we face major challenges. Economically, politically, this country is no longer fit for purpose for the 21st century. So it's those that keep on with the status quo that are living in an unreal world. They are not tackling the major security problems we face. They're failing to tackle climate change. And the more they fail to tackle it, the worse it's going to become for the future. So we're saying, hold on, stop what we're doing that's causing so many problems. Let's actually change our economy, change our priorities, build from the bottom up on a community level, build the jobs that would actually cover the economy that we need to have. We're the real realists because we're looking at the world as it is and saying right now, what do we have to do to make sure that our children have a future in it? Where are your votes coming from in this constituency? Which uh, members of the constituency, which, which members of the public here are you targeting? On the doorstep, we're hearing from old, from young, from black, from white, women, men, uh, from former Labour, former Tory, and former Lib Dem voters. So there's a lot that are attracted by the green message and would like to see green policies play a much larger role in British politics as a whole. In this constituency, where will most of your votes come from if they're, if they're coming from people who voted for other parties in what was pretty much a three-way split in 2010? I think at the moment what we're seeing is that a lot of the Lib Dem vote is collapsing. And I have a lot of respect for Majid Nawaz, but I think that a lot of people do not trust that the Lib Dems are going to, to um, honour their promises. And I think I'm taking votes also from the other parties because uh, what was considered to have been a three-way split in 2010 was a split that now people recognise is not going to happen in quite in that way. So one of the things that's most disheartening, however, is when people tell me that they would definitely vote Green and they would want me to be their MP if they thought I could win but they don't want to let the Tories in, so they're going to hold their nose and vote for a Labour candidate they don't actually want. As somebody who actually canvassed for Glenda Jackson back in 1992, but the Labour Party that Tony Blair took into the Iraq war, that was taken into casino banking that, that helped to crash, crash the economy, is not a party that people can any longer trust, unless Ed Miliband is bolstered by more green MPs in Parliament supporting where his policies make sense like on housing and and the health service and pushing him on far more on the environmental issues. Mayoral candidate Jenny Jones polled really well in this constituency. Does that give you a good foundation uh, upon which to canvass? It's very very interesting on the on the Brent side where they haven't actually ever had a, a green councillor but we're getting very positive responses because we are actually the party that challenges austerity we're the party that is saying we need to build a much fairer base to our economy we must build up the poorest and make sure that the most vulnerable in our in our society are brought into that you know 
it into education and health on a really fair basis. That's what our future depends on. And that's the kind of sustainable British policies and environmental policies that we think are right for Hampstead and Kilburn. And give us your ties with the local area. Right. Well, I used to live in two different places in Kilburn when I w w w f uh, first left Greenham Common um, to, to begin a new life um, working. But to be honest, even then, I rented rooms then, even then, uh, th there's no way that I could afford to, to, to buy. But I've always cycled over to the Women's Pond, which has been an oasis of just bliss and, and calm for me in um, in London. In a nutshell, what's going to set you apart from the other candidates? I have skills, expertise and experience in working with diplomats at the highest level in the UN on security and defence issues. I've worked with MPs also on a number of those issues. I'm not afraid to speak out, to be a clear, strong, committed and effective voice in Parliament for the kind of policies that connect the environment, and uh, uh, eradicating poverty on the gr local, national and international level.